Today, I will be showing you how to create a branded chatbot that you can deploy on your website. This chatbot can help your customers to, for example, answer FAQs, answer questions about your products, help them with problems, or, for example, use this as an appointment setter. I will first show you guys how this chatbot looks and how this chatbot works, and how you can create the workflow that is behind the chatbot. On this page, we can see that in the right corner, we have the chatbot. So if you press on it, you will see, hi, how can we help you? Send us a message. And then we also see we usually respond right away. Here we can see the logo that our chatbot has, and we can also see the name of our chatbot. And we will press on send as a message. And then it's waiting for a message. And we can, for example, say, hello. Then it said, hello, how can I assist you today? Are you looking to schedule an appointment with Sil, our co-founder at swayautomation.io? And I've selected this chatbot to be an appointment setter, but you can obviously change this chatbot to whatever you want. To react on the chatbot, I said, yes, I would like to make an appointment. And then we get a message back and it said, great, we're excited to help you schedule your meeting. Could you please share your preferred days and times for the appointment? We'll check sales availability and secure a slot for you. To respond on this message, I said, I would like to schedule an appointment on the 9th of June on 12 a.m. Okay, so now it will say we can't make an appointment because SIL is not available. The chatbot responded with, Unfortunately, your requested time on June 9th at 12 p.m. conflicts with another appointment. The next available slot is June 9th, 2025 at 3 p.m. Call this work for you. So I will now say, yes, this will work. Yes, this will work. All right. So I said, yes, this will work. Then I said, perfect. Before we finalize the appointment, could you please provide a bit more information? One, what would you like to cover during our meeting? This ensures we can fully prepare and maximize our discussion. Second, your full name. Third, your company name. Fourth, your email address. Once you have these details, I'll confirm the appointment for you. To respond on this message, I said, the appointment is to look in my company to see where I can integrate AI automations. My full name is Sil Automation. The company name is SW Automation and then the email is info at swayautomation.io. So I will send this message and then it will co confirm our appointment. So here it said, your appointment with SEAL is confirmed for the June 9th, 2025 from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. You'll be discussing potential AI automation integrations for your company. As for automation, you'll receive a confirmation email at info at swautomation.io. If you have any further questions or need to adjust the appointment, feel free to reach out. We're looking forward to the meeting. Okay, so now we'll look in our Google Calendar to check if it has really made the appointment. We are in our Google Calendar and we can already see that it has created the appointment. So the appointment is consultation with SIL Automation from SW Automation. It is on Monday, June 9th from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. The description is discuss potential AI automation integrations for SW Automation and the duration is 30 minutes. If you remember, we first asked the chatbot to create an appointment on 12 p.m. But here we can see our academy that we have already an event on the 10.45 to 1.45 with work. And then afterward, we immediately have a event with 1.45 to 3 p.m. with meeting. And then it said the closest time available is 3 p.m. And that's why I suggested to create an appointment from 3 p.m to 3 30 p.m now that you know how this chatbot looks and how it works i will now show you how you can create it so the first step to create our chatbot is by downloading vs code and vs code is basically an app where you can create your code and where you can transfer it to for example your website once you have downloaded vs code you will get sent to this page and here you will first create a new file so you will press on file and then you will create new file make sure that you give your file a proper name so I have chatbot.html. You can also name it whatever you want, .html. Just make sure that it is an HTML file. Okay, and here you see the script of our chatbot and don't be scared of seeing this whole script and thinking, oh, I can't do this because it isn't actually that hard. And I will show you step-by-step step on how you can configure the script. And I will also be sharing the script in our description. So you can just copy the script and then we only have to configure it. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is adding our webhook from our NNN workflow. To get the webhook from our NNN workflow, we have to add a chat message receive trigger. And in this chat message receive trigger, you will turn on make chat publicly available. So you will turn this on and then you will see the chat URL. And then you will also see the mode and the authentication and the initial message. And the first thing that we actually need is the chat URL. So you will copy this chat URL by just pressing on it. Then it's copied and then we'll go back to our VS Code script. Once you are back in VS Code, you will copy the URL that you've just copied. And you will paste it between these two brackets. 
So you will delete that and you will paste it within these two brackets and then your webhook URL is set up. Okay, so the next step to configure our script is adding the logo of our chatbot. To actually get the logo, we need to get a direct link of our image. And this is very easily done by going to a website that is called post image. Okay, so post image looks like this. And you can just select your image by pressing on select image and then you will select your logo. After you've selected your logo, it will render it. And then you can see that you have all kinds of URLs. And the URL that we need is the direct link that we see here. So you will press on the direct link and then you will press on copy and then you will go back to your VS Code script. Back in VS Code, we will paste a direct link between these two brackets behind logo. So I will delete this part and then you will paste it back in these two brackets. So once you've pasted this link between these two brackets, then the logo in your chatbot will be visible and then you have configured your logo. The next step is giving our chatbot a name. So the name of my chatbot is swautomation.io, but you can obviously change this name to whatever you like. In your script under logo, you see name and then you have the two brackets and between those two brackets is the name of your chatbot and you can change this to whatever name you would like your chatbot to be called. So if I, for example, want my chatbot to be named as swautomation and not swautomation.io, then I will just delete this part and then I will go to run and then I'll do run without debugging and then my chatbot is called swautomation instead of swautomation.io. The next thing will be adding the welcome text and my welcome text is hi with a waving hand. How can we help? And if you only want this to be hi for example, then you can delete this part between these two brackets until you have hi. Then we'll go to run. You will press on run without debugging. Then we'll open your chatbot and then you see that the welcome text is only hi. So you can change this to whatever welcome text you like. The next part that you can change is respond time text. And the respond times text is this part that you see below the send us a message. And this is, we usually respond right away. And you can change this to whatever you like, just as we did with the welcome text. Next thing that we will do is changing the colors. So the colors that we can change is the primary color, the secondary color. Then we have the position, which is not a color, but I will get back to that later. Then we have the background color and then we have the font color. So to change the colors, the only thing that you have to do is changing the color code between the two brackets. The background color is white for me, but you can also change this to black if you want a dark theme. And then the font color is also changeable. The next thing will be the position. And the position for my chatbot is the right side, as we can see. But you can also change this to the left side if you would like. Then we'll just do left instead of right. So I will do left. And then you will go to run, run without debugging. And then we can see that our chatbot now is positioned on the left side of our screen instead of the right side. So we have changed it from sides. The last but maybe most important part of this whole script is adding the chatbot template script. And this chatbot template script you can see here. So here we have the script for this whole template. And the template that I have used is a template from Wayne Simpson. And if we hover over this link and we'll press on follow link, then we can see that we get sent to this page where we can see the whole template script for this chatbot that we are using. So here we see the template for this chatbot. Okay, and I have used it, but you can also use the other template if you would like. So then you will get a whole different chatbot. But for now, this chatbot script will get you this output. Now that we have added the template script for our chatbot, the whole script is configured. And now we can start building the workflow in NNN. By the way, this workflow will be also free to download with the link in our description. So you can just download this workflow. And then the script in our VS code for our chatbot will also be free to download with the link in the description. If you liked this video so far, then do not forget to like and subscribe. In NNN, we have already configured a part of the when chat message received trigger, but now we have to configure it fully. So the first thing that you will do is changing the mode to hosted chat instead of embedded chat. And this will make sure that you can transfer the script that you have just created in VS Code and put it on your website and then it will actually work. And if you do it on embedded chat, then it will only work within NNN and that's not what we want, of course. Next will be the authentication. For now, I've just selected it to be on none, but you can also change this to basic auth or NNN user auth. And after that, we will do the initial message and the initial message will be hi there with a waving hand. And then we'll say, my name is Sil, how can I assist you today? And you will obviously have to change the name Sil to your name or to your bot name. Now we have configured the when chat message received and it's one of the most important notes in this whole workflow. We will add a if note. 
And in this if node, it is basically saying JSON.input, if it is existing, then it will go true. And if it is not existing, then it won't go true. And then we will respond with initial message. And this initial message will be, hi, how can I help you today? Okay, so next we'll be adding our AI agent. And in this AI agent, we will first have to select a chat model. And this chat model that I chose is from OpenAI. And this OpenAI model is going to be GPT-40. And you will obviously have to first add your credential, but after you can select your model. And then the sampling temperature will be on 0.4. After we have configured the OpenAI node, we will add a memory. And this is very important for our chatbot because our chatbot is going to ask many questions to the customer that is using the chatbot. And then our chatbot has to remember all of the answers that our uh, customer is giving us and all of the questions that we have asked to the customer. And then it has to form a summary to create the whole appointment. So that's why we have added a context window length of 20. So it will remember 20 messages. The key will be the json.session ID, and this will basically be the session ID from our when chat message receive trigger. After you've added the key, the memory tool is configured. Now we will add tools to our chatbot, and because I have created a appointment setter, I only have the create event for our Google Calendar and the get event for our Google Calendar. But if you, for example, want a chatbot that can answer FAQs, or could, for example, give your customers some more information about your product or can help them with problems, then you can also add a rag database, or you can add other tools that N has selected, or you could even use HTTP nodes if that is needed. But as I just said, for this basic appointment setter, we only need the create event and the get events from our Google Calendar. So we will configure those nodes. We will first start with a create event. And in a create event, you will first add your credential, then the resource will be on event and the operation will be on create because we're going to create a new appointment in our calendar. And then the calendar will be the calendar that you want to get appointments in. Then for the start, the end, the description and the summary, you will just press on this button here. And then it will basically say that the from AI, so the brain of our chatbot will answer and fill in all of these data input fields. So we don't have to do anything else but selecting that button. Next will be the get events tool. And in the get events tool, we will have to add our credential, of course. Then the resource will be event. And then the operation will be get many because we want to get many events from our calendar. And then the calendar will be the calendar that you want to get all of the events from. Then you can turn on return all if you like, but I've selected it to be off. And then the limit for me is 50. So it can pull 50 events. But if you want, you can also add more events so you get a higher limit or you can add a lower limit if you want but i've selected it to be on 50 and then the after and the before is basically going to be the same as we just did with the create tool so you will press on this button here and then it will be configured by the chatbot itself okay so now that we have added all of the tools we will add the system message of our ai agent and this is the most important part of the whole edit and workflow because this will help us to give proper responses in our chatbot so in the AI agent, the first thing that we have to do is adding the user message. And this user message will be json.chat input. And this will basically be the input from our when chat message received trigger. Next, we have the system message. And the system message is saying, you are an intelligent scheduling assistant for SIL, co-founder at swautomation.io, specializing in AI consulting and software development. Your core duties involving management appointments and efficiently collecting essential customer information. Then we have added appointment scheduling steps. And here we basically gave it a step-by-step -step process on how it should set up the appointment. So here we have the steps and then we have added an example of how the whole conversation should go. Three will be the meeting purpose. So here our chatbot will ask the customer, why do you want to create an appointment or why do you want to set an appointment with sale? Four will be the customer information. So here we will obtain the customer's full name, the company name, the email address. Five will be the professional and friendly interaction. So here we will set the tone and it should be happy that it is uh, created an appointment and it should be a warm welcoming. Six will be use all of the gather data to form a clear description, title, start and end time and other things if needed. And use this to create an event in my calendar by using the create event tool. And if you call your tool a other name than create event, then you should put it here so your system prompt knows which tool it has to use. Then you have added booking conditions. So these booking conditions are all appointments must have at least 48 hours notice from the current date time. So here we have our office hours. Appointments are limited to 30 minutes. And here we have if requested slot is unavailable, proactively suggest the next closest available time. And it's also displayed in the demo 
because we had some uh, appointments already and then it displayed the closest available time that was 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Then we added when customers aren't ready to book, suggest emailing info at swautomation.io. Then we have added the communication style. So this will be the tone, the clearly expressed excitement, inform customers that they will meet sale our co-founder for their 30 minute consultation. Then we have added an example for the communication style. Then we have added some crucial reminders. And this says, always verify calendar availability before proposing appointment times by using the get events tool. And here it is the same as the create event tool. So if you give your tool another name, then change it to whatever your tool is named. The next crucial reminder is your primary aim is to schedule meetings. Sending detailed messages is secondary. And then we have added some more crucial reminders here. And then the last thing that we have added is the current time is json.now. And it's important so our chatbot knows which day slash time it is today. Now that we have configured the whole AI agent, the last thing that we have to do is sending the respond. And we will do this by adding a respond to webhook node. And in this respond to webhook node, you will basically just do respond with first incoming item. So it will press on first incoming item and then your respond to webhook node is fully configured. This was a tutorial on how you can create this fully branded chatbot. If you have any questions or any problems, then leave a comment down below and we will try our best to react to every comment. And I will see you in the next video.